Hi all, in this video we will look at the installation of OpenBSD operating system. So at first we have to download the ISO image from this mirror URL for OpenBSD and uh, the versions uh, which are available in the, in the URL are 5.9 and 6.0. So you can choose uh, whatever the version you want to choose and uh, if you go if you get into the version directory you will find so many files and uh, you have to choose the architecture mine is amd64 so i'm choosing the architecture so once that is done this is the file with the extension of .iso install 59.iso is the file which we are supposed to download i have already downloaded it and uh, by we have to burn this file to a CD or DVD by using which we can install the OpenBSD operating system. So as I have already downloaded, I won't do it again. So now let let us get back to the installation part. So I'm doing the installation in VirtualBox. For that click on new and type in your machine name choose the type as BSD and uh, version as open BSD 64 and click on next and give the RAM amount of whatever the RAM as per your requirements you can choose it here and then click next click on create next next so here we'll be choosing the hard disk space so i'm choosing our 40 gb create so now let's get into the settings of this virtual machine we have created click on settings and then you can choose the network adapters here so I have enabled only one adapter let it be if you want to choose more adapters you can enable them from here and uh, go to storage click on theme under control go for the option empty and here we have to choose the image file click here choose virtual open choose we have to choose our iso image file so here you can see install 59 click on ok and then click on start so this is how the installation screen will start uh, when you use a CD or DVD to install OpenVSD operating system this is from where you begin so you can see gives us the instructions to follow on at each stage welcome to open bsd emd 64 5.9 installation program so you can here we can choose our options i for install and u for upgrade a for auto install or s for shell so we here i will go for i to install and then it is asking me to choose the keyboard layout if you want the list you can we can press capital l here instead of that i will for use keyboard layout and it is asking me to set the host name i will type open bsd server enter and uh, as you can see it is asking me to configure the interfaces which network interface do you wish to configure so the interface name it the first interface name it, it is being displayed as em0 
so I will choose to configure it and I will I will let the DHCP configure it so I will simply press enter here so by I'm not interested in configuring IPv6 IP address for my interface so by default the option it is suggesting is none so I will go for it click on enter and uh, which network interface do you wish to configure additionally so if we want to configure the additional interface we should go for it if you want to configure the additional interface just type in your additional interface and press enter and we have to configure it but I will be this is enough for me so I will press enter and then it is asking for to set the password for my root account password for root account I have given my password and pressed enter and it is asking me for the password again so I will give the password and I am pressing enter again so it is asking to start SSH service by default so the option by default it is it has chosen for is this yes so I will go with it enter and then enter enter if we want to set up additional user we, we can set up an additional user It is asking to choose the time zone if you give the question mark here it will give a list of uh, time zones available from where we can choose so by default for me it has to what it has chosen is ACI and Kolkata so I will go with it enter which disk is the root disk so my default disk is WD0 that is my hard disk name my hard disk device name I will press enter I will choose my wall of wall of my disk to configure it so I will press enter here also I will go with auto location and I will press enter So it is uh, he, the question here. Here is the location of sets. So the um, default option is CD0. I will press enter here. Here also I will press enter. Enter. So here it displays a message message telling us directory does not contain SHA-256.SIG continue without verification yes now the installation has begun So here it is asking for the location of sets again. If you want to install an additional uh, additional sets, uh, if you want to install additional sets, we have to go for the option HTTP. So, but I will go with the option done. 
Mm. He's asking me to. Reset my time. I will press yes. Enter. So our installation is done. Now we can reboot our machine. But before rebooting, we have to we can shut down the machine. And uh, if you go to the settings, we have to remove the attachment of our iOS image. Or else the installer once we re once we start the machine again, it will begin all over from the installation of OpenBSD operating system all over from the beginning. So now I can click on start. Here you can see we've got the login screen. Give the username, give the password. Now we are into the mission. So, this is the OpenBSD installation. Thanks for watching.